This is Harvey. He likes to take long walks on the beach, romantic candlestick keep dinners, and devouring the souls of the innocents. What's not to like about him? Hello everybody, you can call me bloody. And welcome back to Spire Nights. Well, it's time to start farming for crafting materials. So that we can get around to crafting some event weapons. And it looks like we'll be able to do that in this event. The Shroud of the Apocrya. Let's go. I'm gonna say that this is somehow the first time that I've ever actually played the Shroud of the Apocrya event. This is like my third time getting back into this game, of playing this game intermittently, and this event has somehow eluded me all those years. But not today, because today we're farming souls. Oh man, if we had that Leviathan Blade reskin, the one that looks like a scythe, that would make things real interesting. Well, whatever. Let's go and harvest some souls. <sighs> Nothing like a relaxing, casual day of venturing into clockworks. It's not like anything eventful is gonna happen today, right? Oh look, a button! Let's press it. What could possibly go wrong? Oh no! Tentacles! You don't need to know where this is going. This is not how I want to go. Well, once we escaped the clutches of Cthulhu, we made our way into the Obsidian Nexus. A lost soul? Just like us. Get in line, buddy. Never see the sun again. That's the life of a gamer right there. Or YouTuber. Don't be silly. We'll be fine. Rare and powerful items? Now you're talking. That sounds like something that's right up our alley. We can definitely do that. Bring on the challenge! Okay, so it looks like we need to get around to farming these three materials. The obsidian shard, a binding essence, and the perplexing elements. There is also the grasping aura, but I can't guarantee that we'll be able to farm that along with everything else here, in one Apocry event, at least. And it looks like right over here, at the Obelisk of Tormentor, I mean, Obelisk of Creation, we can craft the Obsidian Crusher, the Obsidian Carbine, and the Obsidian Edge. Which, we already have the 4-star weapons for them, that we've already heated up, just for this event. Anyways, it's time to start event farming. Let's begin our descent into darkness. Bloody the Soul Eater is about to harvest some souls. Soon we'll be able to craft those obsidian weapons. Scarabs? We're not here to farm scarab souls. However, the fewer scarab souls there are, makes for a more pleasant soul farming at least. This is Harvey. He likes to take long walks on the beach, romantic candlestick keep dinners, and devouring the souls of the innocents. What's not to like about him? Oh no! Harvey is getting closer! Must harvest souls! Yeah! Just like this! More of that, please! If we're lucky, we'll hopefully run into some puzzles. What's up here? Oh, water! Alright, there's some puzzles nearby. And would you look at that? Another type of puzzle. A candle puzzle. You read that from the bottom upwards. Red, yellow, purple. We're gonna need that for later. Well, we can't really find anything to do with this water. But we did find a puzzle up here. It's the one from earlier. Ah, uh, what was it? Red, yellow, and purple? Yeah, we got it! Alright. That was an easy 18 souls. Seriously though, what am I supposed to do with this water? Where's the fire? Finally! There it is! Take that! Go on souls! Be free! So if I'm correct, there's only like two puzzles per indigo plateau. I mean, apocrypha plateau. And they're random, so they might not be the same each time.
No, Harvey. I don't want a hug. Be a good boy, Harvey. I'm coming back with some more Soul Hunters. Well, it's gonna take me forever to do this by myself, so... Yeah, it was very slow farming souls um, solo, so instead we just opted for open lobbies and or any friends that were willing to join. More souls, more scarabs. I ain't afraid of no scarabs. Bring it on. Fight me. Bloody is hungry and wants to consume the souls of the afterlife. I still hunger. Arrgh. Harvey is heading this way. Oh no. It probably would have been better and or faster to go with the others in small teams to cover each other. If and when Harvey wants hugs. But you know what to say. Divide and conquer. That is how we will harvest these souls. Another puzzle. Just follow the magenta lines, bloody. Where does this thing go? Here it is. And so is Harvey. That being said, most of the time I wound up having to distract Harvey because Harvey would always find a way to end up with me. A lot of it was just kiting Harvey with the Arcana and using Masquerade's quills while hoping that Harvey doesn't get the best of me and go after the others. If you can get your hands on some sleeping vials or the sleep mist explosive, then you should probably use that on Harvey because it'll stop them for a few seconds if you need a quick getaway. Or just try using your pet's abilities however you can in order to help make the situation better for you. At some point after farming this event for a while, it started to get very laggy to the point where the lag was affecting everything and making the game run at 2 frames per month. But we did at some point get the map, but man this map is spacious to say the least. The lag kept getting in the way in that it was not easy farming with it and instead I wound up having to be a sort of navigator telling the players where the puzzles, keys, and or locked doors and all that stuff were. The wiki seems to say that the lag is caused from a memory leak and if you want to get rid of it you just gotta restart the game. That should be enough farming for now. Let's head home. Harvey's making a break for it! Arrgh! Well anyways, that was the Apocrya event everybody. We had some fun farming with the other players, some shenanigans happened, some lag happened, but overall we enjoyed the journey along the way. We're more or less caught up with collecting the right amount of sigils that we need in order to purchase all the materials to craft the obsidian weapons. We farmed enough to get around 5,000 sigils, so that should be good enough. The ore does look nice, maybe we'll try to farm for it in the next Apocrya event. If the math is correct, we need about 4,410 sigils. Assuming that we don't pick up any of these materials along the way. So about 4,500, or around there. But we'll just have to get around to crafting the obsidian weapons later, as we can make a video out of that on its own. We'll see you then. And that's all that I have to show you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.